First at five, two women held at gunpoint sexually assaulted by a group of guys. The attack strikingly similar to other gang rapes on Detroit's west side. Tonight, the victims of this latest attack speaking to 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig. And she joins us live from DPD headquarters. And Kim, I'm sure they're still in shock. They really are. These women were robbed and raped, and it's hard to imagine the terror they must have felt. And hopefully the man arrested this morning by Detroit police is the break in the case they needed to solve a series of rapes. We was held at gunpoint, so it was either die or do what they go say. These are the two women, cousins, who were attacked by four men and raped at gunpoint. It happened just before 11 last night on Strathmore near Finkel on the city's west side. The women tell us they were confronted just after they left this liquor store. They were walking back home when the strangers began to surround them in the middle of the street. Yeah, for we know it or not, they, they was just like, what y'all running for? What y'all got? When did you know there was trouble? When I sink the guy, when my cousin said, it's one over there. And I looked up and just sank the barrel of a gun, pointed at me. Our lives flashed before us. Like, I thought we was dead. Like, I thought, I thought our life was over. I was about to run, and they said if I run, they was going to kill her. So I stayed. The four men forced the women into the backyard of this abandoned house where they were raped at gunpoint. It seemed like it was forever. And they separated us in the backyard, and they just had me facing the garage. Stop looking at our face. Quit trying to look at people's face. I just kept seeing the gun in my face. The men got away, but Detroit police were able to arrest one man early this morning, a 36-year-old. And they say it's possible these men could be connected to the series of gang rapes that have occurred on the city's west side. We're not ruling anything out. Uh, we don't know if it's the same crew or at least some of the involved individuals are part of another. Uh, so we're looking at every aspect of this and certainly as we get more information we want to get it out to you. But we are looking for three additional suspects and if anyone knows anything we're really asking for their help. If y'all know whoever did it or if they talking about it y'all need to get them up. It's one person in custody already. So y'all need to get arrested them up and y'all not going to be able to hide forever. And y'all not going to be able to do this forever. Y'all go get caught regardless. And no word on when the man police have in custody might be arraigned. But anyone with any information on these cases should call Detroit Police, the Sex Crimes Unit, at 313-596-1950. Reporting live outside police headquarters, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All Back right, to you. Kim, just a sick crime, but thank goodness they didn't kill those women, at least, you know.